Starcraft 2 Heart of the Swarm completely freaking sucks, man! Oh, goodness! I'm just taking a look at the current scores right now of this released uh, StarCraft uh, expansion. Alright, and you know, Heart of the Swarm came out March 12, 2013. And obviously this is the second installment in the StarCraft 2 uh, series of games, the trilogy, I guess. They're going to have a third one. And uh, this one is focusing more on the Zerg storyline. The first one was about Terran. And... Uh, I mean, taking a look at the freaking feedback so far on StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. And I am just shaking my head with my palm on my face because everybody hates Heart of the Swarm. And for good reason. This game completely freaking stinks. Alright, right now it's got a 7.6 on a user score. It doesn't even have a freaking meta score yet from, you know, the uh, professional critics, but as far as user score, it's got a 7.6. That might as well be an F, okay? I mean, have you ever seen a freaking StarCraft game get anything lower than an 8 or a 9? Heck, an 8 for a StarCraft game would be a complete disappointment. A 7.6? Blizzard, 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 fails again and uh, I mean what did people expect from this crappy expansion first of all it's just an expansion that's it all right it's an expansion pack to the military science fiction real-time strategy game wings of liberty and part of the starcraft 2 trilogy now the third one's gonna be called legacy of the void and you know it's gonna be about the stupid protoss and their boring useless storyline that makes absolutely zero sense and you know this is gonna have uh, additional units uh, multiplayer changes um, you know obviously the storyline continues uh, got about 20 missions in there but you know what this is nothing but Blizzard's way of milking the freaking franchise instead of releasing the entire game on a single actual disc or they could have put it on three discs or something or have like a two disc set or something like that with the game that's complete no this is what they do they include crappy expansions like this to make money off these gullible sheep that buy these crappy RTS games okay nobody plays real-time strategy games anymore alright this is very it's not 1998 anymore what's going on Alright, what are you people doing with your lives? What are you people playing in your homes? Do you even have any concept of what a good game is? I mean, StarCraft is a, is a outdated franchise. It's completely finished. Ugh. The Terran race was originally expected to feature two new units, the Shredder and the Warhound. Oh, the Shredder and the Warhound. How original there. How original, you know, oh my goodness, can can they have any more like cheesy, corny names for these characters? The Protoss Replicant has been cut due to its tendency to stifle unit diversity, but the Oracle and the Tempest remain. Oh man! You still have the Tempest and the Oracle in there, but the Replicant has been cut out? Y you fools! These guys don't even know what they're doing! The Zerg race, the Overseer, has been re-added since BlizzCon, while the Viper and the Swarm Host also remain. The Flying Viper has several abilities, Blinding Cloud, which reduces the range of enemy units to one. Abduct pulls a unit to the Viper's location. Oh, this is pathetic. They have these little minor changes that doesn't affect the core mechanics of the gameplay. This is what stinks about StarCraft. Oh yeah, that's right, they keep having... There's got to be a brand new patch every every two seconds when it comes to StarCraft because it's always unbalanced and unfair. There's always like units that's way too much, too much power, too much more powerful than the other ones. So it's always an unfair game to begin with. It's already unbalanced. Who wants to play something like that? All right, let's take a look at what the user scores have to say. 
Vortis or Vort Vort Ice, I don't know. Gave him a, gave it a four. The story of Heart of Swarm is very bad, but the cinematics are very good. Heart of the Swarm's gameplay has been focused way too much on esports and multiplayer. They oblivion the people who played single player. Well, there you go, man. I mean, obviously, it's, yeah, obviously it's going to be more focused on stinky multiplayer. But nobody plays multiplayer games anymore on the PC. That's what people don't understand, okay? The PC is a personal computer. Personal, a.k.a. just one person, you, the individual, single player experience. Alright, that's why people like games like Sims so much. You know, that's why it's so famous, okay? Games like that. Where it's single player, where it's a it's a immersive experience for you to explore. Like games like Minecraft, okay, not terrible garbage like you know Starcraft. I mean, give me a break. All right, we, uh, Gun Six Six One gave it a four again, another four. Oh man, for my taste, part of the Swarm's gameplay has been focused way too much on esports. There you go again with the esports. It's not playing a game anymore, but learning modes of behavior to win. Even within the single player campaign, 99% of the missions seem to be about getting used to the way the race of the Zerg is supposed to be played in multiplayer. Gameplay is frantic, and every mission has some kind of time limit. Oh, there, there you go again with the stinking time limits. Oh man. That, the, the GUI and the menus of the game strengthen these aspects. You access the campaign story of Heart of the Swarm via a generic button. And we got another one by Jimenez, or yeah, Jimenez gave it a zero. We wait more than 10 years for this. Thank you very much, Blizzard. Was StarCraft II a bad space, uh, space soap opera? A bad Hollywood story? What happened with the dark intelligent story of StarCraft, the original? All the technology and good visual art, art can't hide the junk story that is StarCraft 2. Respect the old fans and new fans with a good story that will last, not something who will uh, rise and disappear fast like uh, some sort of soda froth. <laughs> Greedy pays more than art, I suppose. Greed pays more than art. Did they spend the whole budget in the game except having a good writer? Yeah, I mean, that's another problem with a stinky StarCraft uh, 2 storyline, is the actual plot. It's completely pathetic and convoluted, has no character development, no originality, you know, it's all a mess, it's very confusing. You know, Kerrigan and her nonsense, nobody cares about the Marines, nobody cares about, like, the main character, nobody... There's no investment. There's no characters worth looking at. And oh yeah, this guy's cool. It's all just a whole jumble and a complete like it's just you know gibberish. You know, complete uh, techno babble and you know sci-fi babble. It's just crap. <sighs> I'm already getting exhausted talking about heart of the. You know what? It's not even heart of the swarm. It's crap of the swarm. That's what it is. Amazon gave it a zero. What happened to you, Blizzard? You can't say simply we did this game, period. People expect in us to do a good job, and they don't forgive us if we act like we don't mean it. In a narrative game, the soul is the story, not only the programming. It's like a beautiful girl with no brain. You can F her, but not marry her. I'm not trying to offend women. Just Blizzard must take the path. Again, I wish that they had the talent, and I hope that they still have it. Well, they don't, you know, and that's a really good analogy, man. Just, you know, it's like a girl with no mind. It's like, a, you know, just a complete freaking ditz, a complete uh, bimbo. And that's what Blizzard is. You gotta understand, Blizzard is not the same company. They fell off, man. It's, they're past their prime. Matter of fact, Blizzard always stunk okay they were never good they got lucky with warcraft and starcraft and that's it and all they did was rip off dungeons and dragons man that's all they did they ripped it off those those old school like 80s 
freaking uh, sword and shield games and you know orcs and all that they, they ripped off Lord of the Rings they ripped off aliens uh, Starship Troopers all these different sci-fi things to create this this uh, really it re doesn't even make any sense like Starcraft makes no sense the monsters make no sense the aliens make no sense the Terrans basically humans in space it is a complete freaking pile of crap that's it for this episode of fanboy reviews and until next time keep fanboying yeah.